select all by pressing A, X, delete, and shift A, we need the plane. So press 3 and R, Y axis 90 degree, we're gonna rotate it up, like R, uh, Y axis 90 degree, and just scale it to the Y axis, something like that, and move it up. Okay, now let's apply a scale by pressing Ctrl A and go to edit mode and let's give it a uh, loop cut over here. Okay, and let's um, let's cut it. Uh, also, let's give it a loop cut here also. Okay, now next thing we have to do is just uh, go to this edge mode and select this edge and turn it on this uh, auto merge option and just GG and move it there and this one also GG move it there okay just take them and move okay something okay just select these parts now and just move it down something like that okay and move it up okay move it up a bit something like that and let's give another look at here and let's select them all move it up and next thing we have to do is just go to the side and select these vertices uh, and this also and G to move it to the x-axis something like that okay maybe a little bit more okay and now let's go to object mode and select we have to give it modifier, generate, and we're gonna give a mirror modifier uh, to the, I mean, Z axis, just, yeah. And don't forget to check this clipping, one, clipping, okay? So it will clip. And the next thing we have to do is give it another modifier. It's called subdivision modifier. Okay, and let's give it also bevel modifier. Just move it up here and increase the segments and amount let's say three okay now we got the our uh, source base base shape let's give it shade auto smooth okay and let's move it up and also let's go to edit mode again and let's select this part the bottom part all and move it down down a bit okay and let's give another look at here and I want to get uh, another shape. Let's select this and move it to Y axis a bit. Something like that. I'm gonna give it some stylish look. Okay. Something like this. Okay. Now our base shape is ready. Now let's move on to uh, next part. Uh, so let's give it. Let's go to, let's get cylinder and open up this top and let's type like 16 vertices. I think that's okay. And let's rotate to 90 degree and scale it down. Something like that. Press 3, S, scale it up. Okay, that looks nice. And S, X axis, we have to scale it down. Okay, that looks nice. And let's do let's give it a scale apply scale and let's give it bevel modifier something like that three and let's reduce the amount to the two let's auto shade smooth also let's give it subdivision modifier put it to okay that looks nice let's go to edit mode and go to face select this face and this face and D to extrude okay something like that and X to delete faces now let's select this mode I select mode and select them both sides and right click and where is the bridge edge hook so it will connect it I think it's a little bit big let's scale it um, something like that yeah that looks nice and let's give it another cylinder so and let's rotate to x-axis to 90 degree and scale it down and scale it 
to the Y axis. Something like that and scale it down. I think that looks nice. And let's give apply our scale, capital A, apply scale. Let's give uh, let's give some style. Okay, just go to edit mode and give it three loop cuts. Like that and scale it something like that. I think that will work. Now let's select this faces this and this and change this uh, origin to individual origins and s to scale it down a bit okay something like that i think i'm gonna select this edges also and scale them down also yeah that looks nice and let's give it a sh out of shade so smooth okay now uh i need a UV sphere. Okay, just select them and let's give it maybe 16. And let's go to straight smooth and let's rotate to X axis 90 degree and scale it down and move it to Y axis and put it right here and move it a bit closer. Now, next thing, let's give it a modifier. Let's it's a mirror modifier. Just select it and object. Let's select this object and Z axis. Okay, now we got nice. Uh, I don't know how to call it in English. And so let's move on to next. Uh, let's make a ha handle. Let's again select the cylinder and scale it down and scale it to the Z axis and scale it down and move it down a bit. Let's press three. Okay. I think that looks nice. That looks really nice. And next thing I want to do is just scale it up a bit and move it. And let's copy this and move it down. And let's scale it down. I think this is a little bit bigger. And I want this to be bigger than this one, this part. Okay, yeah. This is okay. And let's move it up a bit. Yeah, that looks nice. And now let's give it out. Uh, let's apply a scale of this one. And I think we're gonna need another UV sphere. Uh, let's rotate to 90 degree to the Y axis and scale it down because I want to put it here and scale it to the Z axis a bit. Something like that. It looks nice. And let's give it shade out. Shade, shade smooth and apply scale. Okay, that looks nice and let's give also mirror modifier and select the object with this one and to Z axis okay now our sword is almost ready let's give let's scale it down a bit this part um, let's give some style on this uh, handle okay just go to edit mode by pressing tab and control R give it uh, loop cut here and let's give another loop cut here and let's select them both by holding shift and alt and let's level it by pressing ctrl b i think that is nice and now just so i'll press alt a and select extrude along the normals and just bring it inside okay something like that and let's apply scale and let's give it a bevel modifier Let's go to 3 and reduce the amount also. Now that looks really cool. Now, let's give some... Okay, let's let's select this and let's move it down a bit, maybe up. No, no, I, I think... Uh, okay, uh, one thing I forgot. Okay, as you can see, this part should be sharp and this part shouldn't be uh, sharp. Okay, just select this and control select and let's bevel it also control B I mean why it's not okay yeah okay why it's not beveling because we apply we didn't apply mirror modifier okay just go to object mode and select apply and now let's go there and control B as you can see we can bevel it like that something like that yeah now that looks nice this part is sharp, this part is not sharp. And let's correct this part. You can see there is some minor 
mistakes let's just grab it and g to y axis a bit maybe yeah. maybe move it up yeah that looks nice so uh so it's it looks nice then let's give another look at here because i want to give it um some damage so it, it looks more uh, real it okay yeah that looks nice uh, okay just select this and this and press j to join so it it will make it sharper okay now that looks nice and next thing uh let's go to let's give it a camera and let's go to top view and move it to the x-axis here and press zero let's go to view and select the camera to view and now we can move it for freely and press n to close the tab and go to this side by the way just select them all and select this one and let's get p to parent it okay so now we can move it uh so let's just select the camera go there let's give it 100 to 100 resolutions something like that and let's go here and let's give it a background select plane rotate the y-axis to 90 degree and move it back so we are here and scale it to to this size around let's see yeah that looks nice and go to shader uh editor i, I mean viewport and let's uh, work on the lights okay let's just give it uh, a real light and move it up so we are here and scale it a bit and go to these settings and let's give it 100 uh, once uh, 1500 uh power and let's go let's see how it looks okay that looks nice go to top view select the camera move it here and just move the light direction to this side and go to top view again shift d select it and move the direction to this side let's move it something like that i think that looks nice and let's select this again move it here let's change the light to point light and move it down and let's give it duplicate it move it to back side okay everything looks good let's give it a background a color something like uh, well, let's say something uh, blue color yeah that looks nice let's give uh, sort a color material okay select new let's go to service glossy bsdf and let's change the color something like um, something like that looks good and let's select this part and let's give it a yellow color something like that let's turn it off this one let's select this give same yellow color to this also same yellow color i see turn it on let's select this give the same color and uh, for the handle let's give a new color here yeah, just just something like darker darker color um maybe let's change it something like that and let's select this uh, diamond and let's give it another color something like that yeah let's move it up let's see yes we got our and another thing just select this just reduce the roughness a bit and metallic and let's give it a little bit darker okay now our sword is ready that looks really nice so thank you for watching check out my other videos if you're interested in modeling in blender see you in the next video